the glass. It was like they were calling their friends. More people were coming. Someone yelled, the cops are coming. They all ran at once. There was a flashbang. Uh, someone ran by us and said people got shot. I, I don't know. It just turned from like, went from zero to 60 in, in no time at all. And we started spiking back as fast as we could to get out of there after it's not you guys last and then it went from like zero to 60 all over again it was just it was so insane maybe two blocks east of where we were every direction we looked there were mobs of people smashing storefronts we saw jamba do smash um in addition to converse we saw a jewelry store across the way smash there was jewelry scattered across the floor i also put that on my facebook live uh if people want to go to facebook you can see that video of what the situation looked like and people all of a sudden would start like a mob just running in one direction, running away. We saw people in alleyways staging their cars almost like to get away with the mobs of merchandise they just got. And then as we're biking away, trying to flee from the chaos, we're hearing like, we're just seeing these, these cars rushing toward the direction of where we had just come from. And people rolling down their window and the guy said, hey, I heard there's a shoe store that was smashed open. We're going there. And then the guy's like, oh no, I heard it's burning. And they're just like, they're calling their friends. These are not protesters. These are opportunists who are just like, ah, uh, it's taking away from the message and, and the intent of the protesters earlier. Wow, what a scene. Yeah, and-, and, Chris and I understand the police, actually the police were there and then they actually just literally left. But if they're out yeah, there, they you were... can't really blame them. And meantime, wow. here's what's happening on Twitter, for yeah. example. I, I'm seeing a tweet um, from this girl who's saying, hey, for anyone heading to Santa Monica, the small parking lots behind businesses on Montana are not patrolled, so you can park there overnight. If you want to smash windows, go to the promenade or Santa Monica place. That's the big corporate business. And then giving like the hands up sign. So the message is, is getting out there on social media and, and there are directives That's of where to go to do the most damage. These people don't even know who George Floyd is, probably. Like, they probably don't even know his name. They are here for one thing, and that is to cause destruction and steal and get what they can. And they proved that to us as we were driving through those crowds. I am just 100% sure of it. People were running down the streets, merchandise flying out of their arms. They're calling their friends. They're tweeting about it on social media. To them, this is almost like a joke. And police don't even know what to do. They were trying to guard their street promenade, like I told you guys earlier. The, the officer said to us, like, you know, he's 50 feet away from the looting. He's like, what do you want me to do? It's the same. Like, it's going to be all over the city, he said. There's nothing we can do. It's like they're outnumbered. And this is this is just insane. And it just, it just takes us backwards so far. It's so upsetting to see. I'm sure you guys can hear him, like, worked up. Because to witness this is just so painful. There were some bystanders who were crying. Like, what do you do? You feel helpless to step in and intervene. Well, 